In this episode of Drupal 8 Teaming I'm going to show you how you can rewrite your views. Uh, so this is going to be the last episode of Drupal 8 Theming series. Well, maybe not last. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to update these videos as time goes on and uh, I'm going to probably do some of your suggestions if you leave it in the comments below or on my site. If you have a specific problem, maybe we can make a video about it on this channel. But for now, I'm not going to do Drupal for some time, maybe a few months, I don't know. Uh, I, I have plans for other series and I want to get them started as soon as possible. So, but as I said, in this episode we are going to look how you can rewrite the output of your views. We actually already did a little bit of rewriting of our views. Uh, I think maybe in the previous episode or the episode before that, I can't remember right now. Uh, but uh, we only did it so that our field in that view becomes a link. In this episode we are going to take that a step further and we are go going to hide all the fields preceding our rewrite field and then use the values of those fields to make a custom markup for our view. So why would you do that? You would do that if for some reason you don't like uh, the HTML that, that views outputs. So you can just rewrite the field and make a custom HTML that you like or that you want to use, add some classes to it or whatever. Okay, so first of all we are going to go to structure and then we are going to go to views. And I'm just going to open up this in another tab so that we have our page right here and I'm going to go to movies. So we are going to be rewriting this view right here. Now if we go to movies, go to edit, now we can edit this uh, view. As you can see the view currently cons consists only of this title field. Now let me get a little bit deeper into why would you want to rewrite this. So in previous versions of Drupal there was a thing called divitis or something like that. So what that meant was that the views output uh, was full of divs. So it was a div nightmare. So if you go to this inception right now you can see that all of the uh, movies are in this div uh, view row, views row and then you can see it right here that it has a views field views field title and then it's in a span and then it outputs the actual uh, field data okay so let's say we want to change this of course you could change this in your template files so you can see where are all these fields coming from. But what we are going to do is something much quicker. So we are going to rewrite the output of the last field we add and hide all the fields before it and well actually you will see. So let's add some more fields. So I'm going to add another field right here and it's going to be a movie poster. So poster Okay, it's right here and I'm going to set it to be thumbnail. Okay, apply all these plays. Then I'm going to add another field and I'm going to say body. Okay, apply all these plays. And the formatter will be trimmed and let's say it will be 300 characters apply all these place and then I'm just going to add another field and it's going to be a link to our content and that's it apply all these place save this okay and now as you can see this actually doesn't look that bad 
could look better uh, with some uh, styling but it doesn't look that bad I'm also going to just change this from view to let's say view movie so link to content is going to be view save this now for this situation you actually wouldn't need to do the things we are going to be doing right now but in some real life situations you I think this knowledge will be very valuable to you so for this kind of lists you don't really need to rewrite the fields but for something more complicated you may have to rewrite them so that you can add, add your custom classes uh, and construct the HTML of that output to suit your needs now let's go to the actual rewriting of those fields so first we go right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to click on every of those fields and click this right here so exclude from display so I'm just going to hide those fields first except for the last one so exclude from display and exclude this guy from display also and then if we check out this right now you can see that we only have this view movie okay so only this link is currently showing up so what are we gonna do now is I'm going to click on this and go to rewrite results and just check this override the output of this field with custom text so click that and then you can see that the text to display for this field you may include HTML or twig you may enter data from this view as per repla replacement patterns below so if we check this replacement patterns you can see that we have available to us all of the data that uh, is in the fields above this field so we have the title we have the movie poster we have the body and we have this view node right here so since we are overriding this field we can do some HTML right here I'm going to do it in my uh, editor because I hate writing in this and it's going to be much quicker so I'm just going to do something like of course I'm going to uh, remove that from here once we're done but I'm just going to write it in here and then paste it in there so first of all we're just going to do article so our movie is going to be an article It's going to have a header actually it's going to be a class of movie okay and it's going to have a header with an h3 tag in it and we check those replacement patterns as and as you, you can see we can uh, display our title by doing this right here so I'm just going to copy this out and paste it right here so the title okay I'm going to copy this and just put it in here and we can apply this to all displays and save it and now if we go to our page now we only have our uh, titles but if we look at the HTML we can still see that they're actually in this view rows and then uh, let me just see view row view node and we can see this field content right here so this is the article of our movie okay so the next thing so this is the header and this is h3 tag okay so the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to actually display this movie poster so I'm just going to do let's say another div of class of image and I'm going to put the image right in here so if we go to replacement patterns again 
we can see that we can display our movie poster by doing this okay so let's see how that looks now apply all these place and as you can see we now have our uh, images so our posters actually so let's save this maybe we can check it out on this page okay now let's just go and add other fields so I'm just going to go to here rewrite results what else do we have so we have a body so I'm just going to put this into div dot movie content okay and add a body right here uh, not here actually but here okay and then we just have a link so I'm going to go to this view node and just put it right here uh, not save it but never mind okay let's just replace this apply all displays and then we have something like this okay save this and if we re refresh it we can see that we have uh, all of this right here and that's all well and good but as you can see this link isn't actually working so we are going to have to fix that the link to content is actually being rewritten and because of that our links don't actually work as expected so what we can do just a little thing so we can add another link to content so link to content apply all displays and then we can just set view movie right here and then I'm going to exclude it from display uh, rewrite the results uh, to output this field as a custom link and just add the class and that class is going to be a button so and I think that's about it so I'm just going to apply all this place with this and this shouldn't work as you can see it doesn't work right here because this field should be above this a link to content field that we are rewriting so we are just going to click rearrange right here and put this one above this one apply all this place and then we are going to click here and see our rewrite results and as you can see the replacement pattern for this one is actually view node 1 so not just view node so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this here and paste it right here. Okay, apply all displays. And as you can see, we have a button right here. So if we save it and go to our site, we should get that link right here and it's going to take us to the page of the movie okay so as you can see this can be where uh, very powerful in certain situations when you need uh, to for your HTML output to be just right so I hope uh, you will f uh, find this knowledge useful I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this video series because this is the last video from uh, Drupal 8 theming. Well, last video 
in a while so I'm not going to do any more of them in the immediate future but feel free to leave any suggestions about Drupal 8 theming that you would like to see on this channel in the comments below and also any suggestions suggestions about the videos that you would like to see uh, on this channel in general so I know I didn't show you everything about Drupal 8 theming not by a long shot uh, it's a very big field so but I think this video series is a good starting point for you to start developing your Drupal themes and to make sites in Drupal so I hope I really hope you like this series and as I said before if you got any suggestions for more videos for this series just write and write them down in the comments below the next video series uh, actually mini series is going to be about vagrant and setting up your local development environment so I think that's gonna be fun it's going to be maybe two or three episodes I don't know uh, okay so that's it for this series please follow me on Twitter or on Facebook uh, like this video if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you like the content I put out and I will see you in the next series